Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you my aquarium filter setups on each of my aquariums, at least for the top three. For my 20 gallon with the African cichlid in it, I have the AquaClear 30. Can't see it very well, but you know, you get the point, you've probably seen them before. Some of the best filters, can't really see it, but so on the very bottom I have a sponge, which is, you know, kind of like you know, kind of like the sponge you'd use for this kind of thing, very fine sponge. It stops the smaller particles from getting into your media. That's it's good for me since I use uh, mixtures of media. I use plastic media or, uh, oh, what's my god, or other medias, whatever. Uh, here I have my biological. This is a moving bed filter with the small sponge in the bottom. You watch uh, Joey's videos, U A R U Joey. Don't really, I think it's U R whatever. Don't comment on that. Doesn't matter. Um, and this is my other tank I got. Uh, had it for years. The two and a half gallon. Before I used to have the Aqua Clear Mini on it, but I got sick of that on this tank. I'm like, hey, why not do a, you know, do it yourself filter on this tank? So I did. Uh, my five gallon broke that I had. So I use all the acrylic and plastic from that tank. So, you know, this used to be a corner from it, and used to be the bow front of it. I cut it with the plastic cutter and other stuff, and you see, I could still comb it together, you know. But I'm gonna paint that with pure acrylic paint, which is okay for aquariums. You know, because everyone has that question: what paint is okay for aquariums? Well, anything 100% acrylic and non-toxic. You know, not because you know. Try not to get oil-based paints because those are bad for your aquariums. So you never want. So I'm gonna finish that with the black acrylic paint. Out of that, or I'm gonna find some concrete sealer, which is also good for aquariums because it's non-toxic. Or and I'm gonna cover it so it looks kind of natural. You know, kind of like a rustic look and looks nice and that. And so this filter is a. Uh, you know, I don't have any fish. You can tell, nothing swimming around. I'm gonna get uh, some crustaceans, like, I guess some shells in there, some uh, snails, and a couple other things, and it's pretty impressive. You see here, I this is where the in, in part comes in. See all the duckweeds getting on that? Goes through a coarse sponge, down through a fine sponge, down through the holes I drilled, up through biological media. This is just random stuff. You know, I got it. Then goes through down, down to the pump, which pumps it out. So it works really well. You can adjust the flow of the pump. This filter works for up to 10, 20 gallons, maybe. Matters All that matters is the pump. So if I had a strong pump, I could do 20, 30 gallons with that, just that filter. It's not a good idea because this opening isn't big enough for big filters, but whatever, you know. Uh, this is my aqua clear. I'm sorry, not aqua clear, aquavion filter. Keep this light up and see everything. Now, love the filter, good design. I've had it for a few years. You know, nothing's gone wrong with it. I bought the mini series, bigger ones. This is a 45 gallon, and the 30 gallon down there, I got a 30 gallon. See, the bio holster, and then this. Their bio thing, forgot the name of it, but it slows down the flow of the water and acts as a wet dry. The water just drips from that. And looks like I gotta turn this light off. There we go. Well, can't turn it back on. It's whatever. Um, anyways, this is another holster for the same kind for a mini one. And this is for a friend who's just starting in the aquariums. We got 10 gallon for a uh, dragonfish. Works well for it. The bio balls in there too. Love them. Um, and then this is this is just a 30 gallon. Not a very big one. I'm getting a big one. Or I just got one. 125 gallons. Guys, you guys, I can't wait to build that. And it's gonna be awesome. I show it all on YouTube. All right, so see this? Got the fine sponge. Just through biological. More biological. This is supposed to be all mechanical, but it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to my fish. Okay, as long as we get 
filtration right. It's on full. Let's do its best. Flip the light back down so you can see a fish. The fish are doing well. I've got a separator, divider. The tank would be brighter if I had my other light on, but I don't. I've got a nice 30, actually it's like a 40 gallon heater. For this 30 gallon, I always go max on everything. 45 gallon filter for a 30 gallon. Another 10 gallon for 30 gallon. And goldfish, they're simple fish. You know, it doesn't really matter what you do. Um, like the water is terrible. Nitrates are high, everything's going, doing terrible, so... And, I don't know, I've got to do 50% water change for five days in a row to get rid of the uh, nitrites and ammonia in their tank, but i got to do it slowly because I don't want to kill my favorite fish. Love goldfish. Um, big guys. Stupid, but who cares. Up here, i got a ultraviolet light, which I'm going to use to uh, for the water clarity, to make the water real clear. So, um... That's about it for all my tanks. It's going to be great builds, so do join me, subscribe, and don't miss my 125 gallon build. And what's up with this? Okay, don't miss my 125 gallon build. I already bought the filter. It's a Sun Sun uh, CF500 with a UV light. One of the best canisters ever. It's rated for 200 gallons. Doing a 125, perfect. As I said, going overboard. You get two large heaters, 80 gallon heaters, one in each corner so it's not visible. I'm gonna have either a white or black background. And, you know, that way I can aquascape. So, I would show you my plans, but I'm running out of video time. So, what I'll just show you real quick. So, I'm gonna have sand, plant substrate in the back, tall plants. Uh, it's not this tank, of course, but I have gravel sloping on either side. Big piece of driftwood, rocks, lots of big rocks. You wouldn't believe how big this tank, the new tank is. Six feet, uh, two feet tall, a foot and a half deep. You know, I'm getting discus, so you don't want to miss the discus. I'm getting CO2 generators, getting lots of plants, getting everything awesome. It's going to be right in our front entry, so don't miss it. Please subscribe and leave comments if you want. You know, comment me on anything I did wrong about the fish. You know, like ask videos, want me to make. I'll make videos on anything. I'll even show you how I built that tank. You know, rebuild it. I'll probably do future filters like that. For this aquarium, I'm thinking about doing another, another inline sump. It's going to be about one fifth of this aquarium wide, maybe smaller. So the water, I'm going to have lots of slits, use acrylic. Goes in, goes up through biological. No, sorry, goes down through mechanical, up through biological, and then down to the pump. But I'm gonna need to buy a pump, so. Oh, goodbye.